everybody, it's Tara Greiser with TSG Realtors. I'm here with some special guests from Lower.com. Super excited to talk with you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Um, so if you want to go ahead and introduce yourselves, tell us a little bit about you. And yeah, I'm Savannah Thomas, loan officer with Lower.com. And I'm Katie Lovely, vice president of lending at Lower.com. Um, so it's such a small world, I just want to tell the quick st story. So Savan's wife and I actually grew up, we're Pine Meadow girls in, in New Albany. Um, we grew up in elementary school together and we were in the band and all that kind of cool stuff. So it's good to like, you know, circle back and reconnect. Absolutely. And so super excited that you guys are here to yeah. chat. Yeah. Excited to be here. Yeah. So a lot of people, they associate like Lower.com with the crew, right? So tell us a little bit about where you, like what you guys do and um, yeah. about the company. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, we're a fintech company. Um, we're mortgage lenders and actually offer a plethora of different services, but our main mission is to optimize home ownership. Um, that's something that we really take serious at Lower.com. So, um, you know, building wealth and building that equity and, and into your home and buying your first home is something that we really take serious and that we um, actually pride ourselves on. So, yeah, that's just a little bit about Lower as far as what we do and uh, what we offer. Nice. I know a lot of people, when I was telling them that I'm meeting with you, they're like, are they going to give us tickets to the game? Like, do you guys ever get to make time out to ask? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we do. So we do a lot of um, competitions, too, um, that we offer to the employees. And yeah. we'll do, con like, sales contests, stuff like that, to yeah. win tickets. Um, so it's fun. Yeah, we yeah. we all been to the games and enjoy the beautiful new stadium. And it's it's awesome what really? they've done with it. Yeah. I have yet to then go, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We'll have to take you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then again, I just want to apologize for the noise. Um, we are, um, if you've been following, we are redoing our office. We're getting a um, new parking lot, so it's pretty exciting stuff here. Um, so just want to excuse the mess. But yeah. <laughs> um, so let's just get right into it. Um, what are some like fun facts about Lower.com? Like, you know, what are some things that you'd love to tell the world? Yeah, so, um, you know, obviously our customers love us, but I think one of the really cool, <laughs> <Obviously>. <laughs> one of the really cool fun facts about Lower.com is we were uh, voted best place to work, um, or in the top 10 best places to work in Columbus for the last decade. So, nice. um, like I said, not only do our customers like working with us, but the people who work at Lower absolutely enjoy working at Lower as well. Um, obviously, we are the stadium sponsors for the Columbus crew, so a lot of people associate us with that, like yeah. we just talked about. Um, and generally, just my personal opinion, it's the best place that I've ever worked. So, just a couple fun facts about Lower. Nice. Yeah, we've actually worked together before. Yeah. So, that, I mean... Life comes full circle. Yeah. It really does. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, did you have anything? Oh, about? yeah. So, something really cool about Lower is just the culture. Um, that's how we're able to recruit such top talent. Um, and us winning Best Place to Work in Columbus locally brings a lot of that um, young, uh, excited energy, right. top talent from all the universities around us, which is really, really cool. Yeah, and it helps that the area is growing so rapidly. Absolutely, so, yeah. Yeah, we'll get into that a little bit too. But um, so you guys are located in New Albany, right? Yep. Okay. Right. Awesome. So that's not too far. Do you guys usually have, you know, um, buyers or sellers into your office a lot of times, or are you more of like a travel and meet, you know, with your clients? Yeah, good question. So we have a lot of people come to visit our awesome new office. Um, we took over the Bob Evans headquarters, oh, nice. which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's got that farm style feeling. Yeah, very um, modern. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's very trendy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we most of our clientele is all over the country, actually. Okay. Um, so if people are local, we'll invite them in to you know come have lunch at our cafe, grab a coffee, um, show them around. A lot of agents as well. But a lot of the business we do is is direct to consumer, and we're working with clients in California and Texas. Texas and Florida, um, so it's not as easy for them to come right. check out the office. Yeah. Um, but we're always willing to hop on a Zoom call or a face, or, you know, travel to Florida, like or travel to yeah, Florida. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah, to get one of those invites from one of my Florida <laughs> realtors. But yeah, as Katie said, you know, direct to consumer. Uh, me personally, I'm licensed in 14 different states, so you know, I can really help you in a different, you know, a couple different markets. You know, yeah. so um, that's something that. Lower kind of sets itself apart, and I think we're in what 45 different states right now. Yep, so, wow. around there. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I know sometimes there's costs associated with you know working with a lender to help from start to finish. 
what are some of those costs look like for you know if a buyer wanted yeah. to come to you yeah. um, are they looking at a large bail at the end of it or is that something that they would need to worry about yeah good question yeah yeah that really is a good question so um, a lot of lenders are going to charge you about one percent um, and that one percent is for underwriting origination all that different stuff so to get a two hundred thousand dollar home that's two thousand dollars you gotta pay right you know um but at lower.com we actually just have a flat rate fee of 9.99 oh, wow. and that's charged once you actually close on your home mm -hmm. i actually spoke to someone recently who was a little bit frustrated in the market because i guess lenders are charging just to even have a consultation i don't oh, even know wow. if that's legal yeah. um <laughs> but i really don't but we don't charge anything like that it's just that flat 9.99 fee once you close on your home um, and then also the cool thing about our company is once you do one transaction with us, you get subsequent free purchases and refinancing for life. So what that means is next time you go to buy a home, if you use lower.com, you won't pay any of that origination fee. Well, that's a nice chunk yep. off of your closing Absolutely. Costs. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, something else that we offer too is we have an app out for people to yep. um, be able to put money into our home fund. Um, this is the highest, one of the highest yield savings accounts on the marketplace right now. Um, and what we encourage our clients to do is to put money into this home fund account. And something awesome we'll do is match you dollar for dollar up to five hundred dollars, wow. and we're going to reduce that off that nine ninety nine fee. Um, so an extremely low flat fee um, in comparison to the rest of funders in the country, and we're really yeah. proud of that. Yeah, and is that that's a program that's before you actually get to pre-approval? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So when we are talking to clients and getting them pre-approved, um, we'll advise them to download our app. Uh, they can check oh. their credit score on there. They can open the home fund. Um, and the home fund is really special because when you move into a house, you know things come oh, up. Oh, yeah. You know things happen. Um, I know personally, after buying my house, my basement started flooding. Oh, and I'm like, no. oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I wish I had the app at that time, right? Uh -huh. So we tell people, keep that money in there. Use it only for the house. Yeah. If you need to use it for paint, if you need it for your basement flooding. Right. Um, you can pull There's it right out of there. There's always yeah. something yeah. when you buy a house, Even if right? It, and if it's not broken, you're gonna wanna do, I wanna paint yeah. the walls, yeah. I want a new exactly. faucet. Yeah. There's always something. It, there's always something and you wanna make it your own. So keeping that money to the side and, and not seeing it or touching it, you can then pull from it when you wanna dive into those projects on yeah. the new house. Yeah. I. I'm with that. <laughs> so speaking of other programs, what do you have to offer? Um, you know, I know some people have like down payment assistance programs, yeah. um, there's Home for Heroes or uh, military discounts. What does that look like for someone that's, you know, coming to lower.com? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so we're not like a vanilla, you know, mortgage company where we only offer conventional and FHA right. loans. Obviously, we have those products, but we also do offer VA loans, USDA loans, um, 80 20 you know combo loans where you can get 100 percent financing um, we do the down payment assistance here in ohio so homes for heroes um the ofa grant things like that we that's kind of one of the things that i really like about lower especially if you're a loan officer is they give you that opportunity to thrive because of the different products that we have to offer and with this market and how it's forever changing yeah. um, it's good to have those different products to where you can lean on and you can you know help your buyers stick out and be competitive when really that's the most important thing right now is being competitive yep. when homes are getting two to 30 offers on every you know listing no it's hard yeah I'm sure yeah. you do <laughs> it's, it's hard to set yourself apart yeah and to piggyback off of that something we really take pride in at lower is we're ever changing we're always mm -hmm. thinking five steps ahead so mm -hmm. what's the market going to do next and what program can we offer to our home buyers um, to not only make their offers stand out but to put them in the best financial position upon moving into that home yeah. Um, so whether that be down payment assistance, whether that be, you know, a standard conventional loan, whether that be um, they need more money to offer for an appraisal gap, we have 100% conventional financing, um, which, is a, which is a rarity. Yeah. Um, so we've got a program for everybody, um, yeah. is, is what I like to think of it as. And, and if we don't, we're going to coach you and put you in the best spot possible yeah. so that when you're looking to purchase in six months, you're ready to hit the ground running. Yeah. So you kind of heard it here first is that like the first step would be to talk to somebody and see yes. where you're at financially yes. and what program works best for you Absolutely. if it doesn't work for you there's programs to help get you to where you need to be yep, yep. Sure. um so that takes me right into what i want to talk about next was the myths in real estate because a lot of people um you, you get on a call with a buyer and they say i don't i can't buy a house right now because my credit is bad 
um, or I need to um, work on something or I need to pay off my debt. But you know, they're, if you don't speak with somebody, yeah. then you're not going to know exactly what you need to pay off. So what, yeah. what do you kind of think about those myths? Like what, what are some of your obstacles that you like overcome with those, you know, those, <laughs> yeah, no, those I, conversations? Yeah. So <laughs> I really like that you brought this up because, you know, I speak to people every single day when I'm taking loan applications and I hear some crazy myth, you know, yeah. um, I have to have 20% down. Well, mm -hmm. how people don't know, you know, you can get, a home with three to three and a half percent down you know depending on your credit you can possibly have to put no money down you know it really just yeah. depends so that first step it's really important to talk to a loan officer to figure out where you're at in the buying process and you'll find out that a lot of those myths aren't true um, you know people say that oh I have all this debt I have to pay this all this debt off before I can buy a home well nine out of ten people don't have to pay any debt off to actually buy a home um, so again, it's important to speak to your loan officer to truly find out where you're at in the whole loan process. Um, same with one of the things that I recently heard here was, you know, you have to always have mortgage insurance and that scared someone away from buying a home. And that's also a myth that I hear often as well. Um, there are ways to get rid of mortgage insurance, you might have to start out. Um, but as you build that equity in your home, like we're seeing in this market, yep. it's certainly something that you can get rid of. So. Uh, yeah, we deal with myths every single okay. day, yeah. and I just really encourage you to actually speak to a professional, ask and those costs questions. costs nothing to you, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's Free a great thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because at the end of the day, things that are on your credit report, they're not going to go away unless you speak with someone, figure out ways to go around it, yeah. or you know, remediate those issues. So Absolutely. it's just always going to be there, and if, yeah. if it's not today, it might be next year, or years later, we're still going to be there to haunt you so if you're interested in buying a home there's always a way to make it happen mm -hmm. I mean it, that's the best piece of advice I can give um, so no matter what's what you think is hindering you mm -hmm. there's a way to tackle it overcome it so that you can get in the best spot possible yep. to qualify and then to get into a home mm -hmm. like I said or like Saban said you know our goal is to optimize home ownership not stop you from home ownership yep. our even if you're not in a place right now to purchase we're going to guide you and give you the resources yeah. you need um, to qualify for that home that you want, yep. which is really cool. And, and yeah, you know, we, we're really proud of that too. Yeah. So. I love working with people that, you know, I might've been talking to last year and now yeah. it's like come around and there's so, it's just the excitement that yeah. they yeah. did all that work and now they're ready to actually buy a home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just, it's just exciting. And so many people, you know, aren't ready right here, right now. Yeah. And that's okay. It's a long term yep. game. Um, it, it's it's how do we get you you know get your credit into this target spot within the next six months yep. we're gonna have you do X Y and Z and we're gonna lay it all out for you so that it is manageable it's not completely overwhelming and so that you can tackle it and you know know what you're working towards yep. getting that home yep so is there any like certain credit scores that you kind of steer away or is that is it just everything is doable right yeah um, so obviously the minimum credit score to purchase home is 580 and we do take the minimum credit score so it doesn't really matter what your situation is that's kind of the cool thing about working with yep. us is we're willing to help you um, yep. no matter what the credit situation is and if you're not ready credit wise we have companies and people that we can refer you to to help you get your credit to where it needs to be to where you know you can actually buy that home uh, one thing that I do want to mention is, you know, when you work with Lower.com is you actually get a designated loan officer. So you're always working with that same person. So nine times out of ten, they already know your situation. Right. They know that, um, hey, you know, it might be six months before you're buying because you're working on repairing your credit a little bit. But as far as the credit scores that we can work with, we can absolutely take the bare minimum. This kind of varies from case to case. But, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to touch on were some headlines that we're, that we're seeing, right? Some mortgage companies are doing major layoffs and um, that's kind of making consumers think, oh my gosh, the market is crashing. Or, but I don't, I don't personally, since I'm in the business, I don't yeah, really yeah, see yeah. the relation. Yep. Um, just in today's world, companies are consolidating departments and yep. trying to figure yep. out what's best for their situation and it doesn't really have an impact on us as consumers. Yeah. Um, but have you seen that happening over where you guys are as well? Like the, you know, the layoffs or, sure. you know, the people running around like, oh my gosh, you know, the market is going crazy. Yeah, that's an interesting point you bring up because 
we were in this time the last two years, you know, starting in 2020 with COVID, um, we call it the unicorn time, uh, where rates are super low. People are getting two and a half percent. I mean, it's unheard of. So everybody hears low rates, they flock to go buy houses, right? So now you're seeing inventory prices um, really increasing and inventory is so minimal yeah. right now. Um, something that's awesome about lower is, like I said, we're always thinking five steps ahead, right? So we saw this happening. We saw this happening from the beginning. Right. Like rates are low, everybody wants to buy or refinance. Um, so we're getting very innovative now that rates are rising a little bit. Um, but I mean, and when I say rates rising, if you look in past decades, still insanely low mm -hmm. it's still a great time to purchase um, but we're being innovative with the products that we're offering based on this marketplace uh, one product in particular that comes to mind is our good as cash offer so here in the Columbus market I can't even tell you how many clients we have that have gotten eaten up by cash offers mm -hmm. I mean it's insane right yeah. it's insane to think someone is coming out of the woodwork, paying cash for this property. And, and it's not even um, like a $200,000 cash offers nowadays. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's starting five, to get it's up It's $500,000 cash offers. And, the, and they're I, even getting beat out sometimes. Right, and it's yeah, like, how? How yeah. in the world is this yeah. happening? So, you know, Lower saw this need for our clients to stand out in this marketplace, and they said, okay, what can we do to arm our clients so that their offer stands out amongst these cash offers, amongst these these other offers, I mean, some of these houses have 20 offers on the oh, yeah. How do we stand out? How do we um, make our clients, we, how do we put them in the best possible position? Well, we're going to offer a cash back product where if anything happens during this 30 day uh, process of getting the loan approved and you know something unforeseen happens, we're going to come in and buy cash for that property and we're going to work with the client afterwards to make sure we can help get them in that home. Wow. So no matter what, um, our, our client gets that house. Yeah. So, I mean, we also came out with a product too um, to evolve in this market. So right now, inventory is slight, but home prices are through the roof, which is fantastic for you know homeowners. Mm -hmm. um, so we came out with a product, a standalone home equity line product to help people consolidate debts, to help people make improvements in their house, um, to help you know consolidate that credit card debt or um, to pay themselves back for all the money they've spent on the home they just purchased. Oh. Um, so, you know, we're always thinking ahead on how we can help our clients uh, and put them in the best financial position possible right. to, again, optimize that, that home ownership experience. Yeah. Yeah, I like what you said there. Just yeah. Because you know, interest rates are increasing, a, yeah. you know, tad, but it's still a good time to buy. It's you still know? a great time to buy. I mean, there's never going to be a bad time to buy. and yeah. and. I don't care if interest rates are 10 percent if you get into that home you're going to be building equity mm -hmm. if you're renting you're paying a hundred percent oh yeah pretty much think of it as a 100 it's pretty much a mortgage right now yeah, yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> it, it, it yeah. is and you're paying a hundred percent of someone else's mortgage mm -hmm. when you could be putting that towards your own home and something that you own yep. and you get you get a return on in the end yeah i purchased my home in november and i already have Tons of equity, and it's only been six yeah. months. Crazy, it's just, right? I'm like, wow, like this is awesome. Should we sell? No, no. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Same with us, though. We bought in yeah. October, and I already feel like the equity in there has already made the home purchase worth it. Yeah. So yeah. it's definitely building equity for sure. Yeah. Facts. Anything else that you guys want to add here um, before we get into the Q and A? Lots of people send in some questions that I'd love to be able to capture with you yeah. guys. So, do you have anything else that you're just dying to let everybody know? Now is the time to buy. Now is the time to talk to your loan now, advisor now, at lower.com. <laughs> and me. No. <laughs> and Tara. Yes. Yeah, we'll work together and get you something great. But um, awesome. So one question came in about the benefits of a bridge loan and if it's a responsible option. Um, this person in particular, they own a home. Um, they're not sure if they want to sell it just yet, but they happen to find a home that they were interested in and they just didn't have the funds to act on it without selling their home first. So would a bridge loan, maybe explain to the world exactly what a bridge loan is and if that would be a doable option for someone out there. 
Yeah, so bridge loan is going to be a loan um, that you borrow that when you're in between homes. Um, so say you're in the process, you don't want to sell your first home and you want to purchase a new home, then you're going to take out a bridge loan to kind of bridge that gap in between the financing, between selling the house and purchasing this new house. A lot of times what you'll do when you sell your current home um, is then take the equity or the net proceeds that you've gained from selling that, pay off the bridge loan and put the rest of that towards the new house. Um, now. Bridge loans can get pretty expensive. Okay. Yep. They're very high interest because they're extremely risky. So with risk um, comes costs, right? Okay. Um, so we do, if you're in a spot to take out a bridge loan, by all means go for it. But what we typically advise our clients to do is do a minimum down payment on the new house. Okay. Do a minimum down payment, anywhere from three to 5%. Mm -hmm. um, and get everything out of the old house, get it into the new. There may be um, maybe a month or two of overlap in between right. having those two mortgages. Um, and if you can swing it, I mean, we have an option where you can recast that, that new loan. Okay. Now this recasting option, it's a lot less pricey. Um, there's a lot less costs involved than with a bridge loan. Um, and what you'll do is you'll take the equity or the net proceeds you get from selling the old house and you can put that towards your new loan. Um, so, you know, you gain the benefits of, um, what a client would if, let's say you, you get 20%, like a 20% down payment from selling that home and you put it towards the new house, you're gonna reap the benefits of that because you're gonna put all that money towards the new principal on the loan gotcha. and we recast it for you. Um, so we've got such great relationships with our investors and we service a uh, majority of our loans as well. So okay. we're, we're a great um, contact when you wanna do yeah. this um, and we'll help you put all that money towards your principal loan and recast the payments from then on out. So let's say your monthly payment's 1800 bucks from doing that minimum down payment. And then say, you know, you put 20% down um, once you sell your house, that payment could go down to $1,300 from then on out for the rest of that term. Um, so it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then when do your pre-approvals expire? If I come in and get pre-approved, how long do I have until I have to buy a house? Yeah, absolutely. So typically it's about 120 days um, for the pre-approval to expire, but um, think of it like this. Always, I stay in touch with my clients who are looking to buy a home because if your circumstances change, then obviously your pre-approval changes. Right. And some people don't realize that, you know. Um, so say you're pre-approved in January and then in March you decide to quit your job. Yep. Well, then that pre-approval is no longer valid because it was based off of that job yep. that you had. Um, or say that you went and you opened up a bunch of new credit cards. Obviously that makes your um, pre-approval not valid anymore because it changed the situation really. So um, they do expire, but what I do is I touch base with my clients weekly. So every week I'll give them a call, I'll shoot them a text, hey, how are things going? Um, and we just have a, a casual conversation. It could be about life, it could be about your home search, but that way I'm always in contact with my clients so I know when something's changed. So, you know, if I'm talking to you and like, hey, I, I decided to quit my job, I started a new job, well, I'll say, hey, well, we need to go back over your yeah. profile. <laughs> so we yeah. don't send you out there to, you know, look at something that you may not be qualified to buy. Yeah, that's definitely something I always tell my clients when I talk to them after pre-approval, like, you know, if anything changes, let us know and I'll help, you know, yeah. navigate those conversations too. For but sure. yeah, it's, some people need a new car, they yep. need something, but it's not like you're saying don't live your life. Like, yeah. you know, if you need to charge your car and get gas or do something, just make sure that you're paying off or, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. keeping it consistent as when you got pre approved. And tell, tell your loan advisor. Yeah. Tell, yeah. please, please <laughs> tell your loan advisor. The last thing we want to do is you go into contract. Yes. We update your credit report. We find out you bought a boat and now you don't qualify. And we're yeah. scrambling to figure out what do we do now? You know, yeah. do we pay it off? Do we or add some appliances? Off? Oh yeah, or exactly. Yeah. Furniture. Don't do any of that until you close. Yes. Yeah. Don't. And if you have to, tell your loan advisor so we can come up with a game plan, yeah. so that when you find that perfect house, nothing comes in between you and that house. Mm -hmm. Especially in today's market, like oh, you know, sometimes yeah. unfortunately you don't always get the first offer, right? right? So you might be looking for those three months, and yeah. Um, so it's definitely something to keep in mind for yes, sure. Yeah, absolutely. The key thing is just staying in contact. Yeah, yep. 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 Um, and then the other question that came up are what are interest rates right now? And are you able to lock in your interest rate 
um, when they come in to get pre-approved? Yeah, so I think that's a good question. Yep. So we do uh, lock in our interest rates. Uh, typically, we will lock when you have a property. Uh, okay. reason being because interest rates, when you lock them, they do expire. So it can be 30-day gotcha. expiration, 60-day, 90-day. Yep. So you want to have a property pitched out and actually in contract so you know when you're closing so you know how long you need to lock your rates. So gotcha. we can certainly do that. And then as far as what interest rates are today, I always tell people, um, asking for interest rates like asking for, you know, what type of gas mileage does your car get without knowing what type of car you drive. You know, it's going to depend on the client. You know, what is your credit score like? What is your debt to income ratio like? How much are you putting down? So again, it's, it always comes back to make sure you talk to your loan advisor. You want to get pre-approved so you realize what you qualify for, what you're looking at, monthly payment, and that's where I come in. So definitely contact us at lower.com and we can help answer those questions. For yeah. You. yeah. And speaking on that too, I always like to tell people, come in and know like what what you want to spend a month, like your yep. mortgage payment. Right. Absolutely. Um, you know, people come in and they may be looking at a five hundred thousand dollar house or something. Yeah. And that's like what they want that's what they want, right? Yeah. And that's totally fine, but if you're not comfortable with that mortgage payment, then that's a that's a key component in so getting your pre approval. Because yeah. you're I mean you'll approve them for whatever they right. qualify for, but if they're not comfortable for it, then you want to be a little bit more realistic and make sure that they're comfortable. Absolutely. That. And and then all this revolves around what is gonna be the best product for you, what monthly payment do you yeah. want? How much do you have available for your down payment? Yep. What's going to get you into this home? Um, because interest rates are temporary, right? Those can always change, especially with free refinance to sell the home. I mean, at the end of the day, we want to get you the best product for you, for, yep. for, for your needs right here and now, and then get you that monthly payment that's going to fit in your budget and be comfortable for you from here on out. Yeah, yep. that makes yeah. sense. Um, and then how should I prepare to save if I want to buy a home in the future? I know you have the program we've already touched yeah. on, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then you've touched on, you don't actually need the 20% yep. down. Um, but you know, what are some other ways that you think that someone should save? I mean, I have my thoughts, but what do you guys think? Yeah. Um, yeah, again, I think, it, and I hate to keep saying this, but talk to your loan officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it comes yeah. down to to figure out, because Honestly, you got to know what you qualify for exactly. first to realize how much you need to save. Yep. I mean, it's like I said, we have 0% down loan programs. Um, me personally, I bought my house and I did use the down payment assistance program and I spent maybe like $3,000. Yeah, um, and then you also have to come with closing costs as well. Yeah, right? and so, you know, it, it just depends on your situation. So whether it's 0% down, 3% down, 5%. Um, if it's an investment property, 15%. So it, it really depends on your situation, what you're trying to accomplish, mm -hmm. you know, how soon are you trying to get into the home. All that stuff's going to pay, play a factor um, in you know, how much you're going to be required to have to close on a home. Yep. Um, and then is there any differences in loans if I'm interested in buying an existing home versus building a new home? Yeah, good question. So um, it, it's really going to depend on what avenue you're looking to do. Yeah. Are you looking to build it from the ground up? Are you using a builder? Are you yeah. looking to purchase a condo? Are you looking to buy an existing home? We have products for all of those. Um, it's just a matter of what you qualify for and, and, and we'll walk you through exactly how each of those programs work, what the time frames are to get them closed, what the costs are associated with them, etc. Yeah. Um, so it really just varies on property type and, and We'll give you the best advice possible yeah. to put you in the best spot for each one of yeah. those. Because building is a little different yeah. as far as financing and yeah. when you need the money and mm -hmm. yeah, those kinds of things. So I guess it's probably better to talk to a professional. It is, and there's just so many variations yeah. to it. I wish right. it was just a black and white yeah. answer, but it's like, okay, do you have land that you're trying to build yeah. on? And then okay, then we have to look at a few different loans and look at putting those together. Yeah. Or are you looking at going through a big builder that, you know, does all that, does every single part of the home for you uh -huh. and then we just have an end loan? Or is it you're looking to purchase an already ready to go home? I mean, they all have different uh, types of financing yeah. associated yeah. with them. I mean, at the end of the day, they're all very similar and they're going to put you in a similar program for more than likely a 30 year fix. Right. Um, but what does that look like? We'll set the expectation with you based on exactly what you're looking to accomplish. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, and then the last question that I got from viewers were is, um, does the value of your home increasing have any impact on your PMI, so the private mortgage insurance? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we kind of touched on this several times throughout the conversation of how homes are building equity and they're building equity fast, especially depending on what market you're in. Um, so yeah, we are seeing that people are buying homes and then six months later they're seeing that they have all this equity and they're like, well, shouldn't my PMI fall off? You know, I have 20% now. Yeah. Um, well, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you do have to reach out, or fortunate for us, you do have to reach out to a loan officer um, to help you with getting that equity out of your home. So what you'll have to do is you'll refinance. And that goes back to um, doing re free refinancing with us. If you purchase with us, you can actually take advantage of that free refinance and you can refinance the home and get that equity out and get below the 20% to where you don't have that PMI on there. So yes, equity does have a lot to do with that, but you do have to actually take the steps of talking to a loan advisor, getting it refinanced so you can actually capitalize on that. Okay. And then if they didn't work with you prior, I mean, shame on them, right? But if they, did, <laughs> if they didn't work with you guys, what are the costs? Does that vary as well to get their home refinanced? So there are costs associated with refinancing. Um, back to the PMI real mm -hmm. quick. Um, if, let's say you purchase a home and within a couple of years, you do hit uh, where you're, the loan on your home versus the value um, is under 80%, you can request for that mortgage insurance to be removed okay. um, depending on loan type that you're in. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, we always hear about people wanting to put 20% down because it doesn't have that mortgage insurance. It's just not realistic. Not, not a lot of not a lot of first-time home buyers are going to have 20% down payment. A lot of times that's coming from a house um, that you're selling and you're putting towards a new house. Um, but there are ways to get that removed uh, before you're 10 when, yeah. when the loan is set up for. Um, but as Yvonne says, talk to your loan advisor and we'll coach you through exactly what you need to do to get it removed if you are in that sweet spot of being yeah. able to, to get rid of it. I think many people probably A are. lot of people yeah. are, yeah. It, with equity being through the roof, it's an awesome time to be a homeowner, right? Yeah. Um, talk to your advisor. We'll get you in touch with our resources to see if we can look into removing that PMI for you. Great. That really wraps up the questions that I was given from social media. So did awesome. you guys have any other questions that you had or anything that you wanted to touch on before we close? No, you're good. Savan, you have anything? <laughs> no, um, I really enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys coming and hopefully we can link up again soon and work together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, we'll link their information um, here as well on our video. And if you need anything, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. Bye, guys.